As the Fed tries new strategies to boost hiring, so are American manufacturing companies. They're experimenting with ways to remake their image in an effort to attract younger workers. The industry is losing many veteran workers to retirement, so it's looking to high schools for future recruits. And as Diane Esterbrook reports, that means speaking to teens in ways only they understand. I mean, try to jog the ball down and maybe touch that little peg there. Next to food, nothing grabs a teenager's attention like a video game. So you can get that gripper in any orientation that you want to be able to pick up some type of object. At the International Manufacturing Technology Show in Chicago, companies like Fanuc Robotics are showing kids like Kenny Suki that factories aren't all grease and gears. They can be cool places to work. It was interesting. I really liked how it was like, like super simple and pretty easy to learn. The National Institute for Metalworking Skills, or NIMS, is sponsoring the Student Skills Center at the show to get teenagers excited about careers in manufacturing. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at one end here, and you're going to lay down a weld bead all the way across the other end. At the Lincoln Electric booth, kids don welding masks and learn how to wield a so-called virtual blowtorch. So if we hit the score button here, you can see that overall you got a 47% out of 100. At a time when the nation's unemployment rate tops 8%, U.S. factories have more than a half million openings for precision manufacturing jobs. The industry's problem, an aging workforce and not enough young people with the right skills or interest in manufacturing. NIMS executive director James Wall wants to change that. Everything's computer-based and uh, um, you know, really uh, an exciting and challenging place uh, to, to work. Uh, manufacturing has changed dramatically from, from what it was even five or ten years ago. Some students are literally taking the ball and running with it. Liam Burke demonstrated a robotic basketball player he and fellow students designed at Aviation High School in Seattle. We have uh, industrial sims on our drive base that actually has, have a super shifter so we can uh, shift from a high speed to a uh, low torque um, and then to a high torque where we can push about 300 pounds across the floor. The demonstrations impressed some students. The thing over there that we're throwing into the hoops is pretty cool. When I got here I wasn't really thinking about it but after seeing what I've seen today it's enlightened me. MIMS hopes this bit of razzle dazzle will help spark interest in an industry that desperately needs young workers. Diane Estabrook, NBR, Chicago.